Let's see. Can you hear this? Hold on. Can you hear this? I can hear this. It just recently yes, happened. Yes, I can last hear that. Yes. I can labor hear, yes, I can hear that. Okay, good. Can you hear this? 60, 59, yes. oh, 58, yes, countdown, right. 57, the Slade and Mason 56, show. 55, 54, this continues to be a countdown to the Slade and Mason show. 50, I'm going to 49, open the 48, you're listening to the countdown. Now, you're talking at the same time. They can't hear you. 43, oh, this is the continued 42, countdown 41, to the Slade and Mason 40, show. 39, 38, right now. 37, you're listening 36, to the countdown. 35, to the Slade and Mason 34, show. 33, please stand by me as you're listening to the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. 28, 27. This is course, the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. 23, 22, we continue now one with the countdown 20, to the Slade 19, and Mason show. 18, 17, stand by. 16, this guy's we are good. now delivering the countdown 14, to the Slade and Mason show. 12, 11, yes. 10, this is our countdown 9, to the Slade 8, and Mason 7, show. Six, guess what? 5, ready? <laughs> 4, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Now broadcasting from the Dan Mason Studios, deep in the heart of Virginia, it's the hey, Slade and Mason, Mason Show. Keep somewhere else. This guy's awesome. All right, before we even get started, I flew back to 35 minutes ago. All right, I'll eat. Get away from Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And, and this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. Good morning, Mr. Slade. Can I talk now? Y- well, wait. Uh, this is the Slade and Mason <laughs> Show. Oh. It is all about you and us. It <laughs> is like a radio program where we share with you news stories and things <laughs> We, we do not read that are, of course, very well tightly scripted for us. Please, I have not got to the period yet. And Sorry. things that we see throughout the week. It is our take on it. Basically, comma. Oh, I don't have to say comma. <laughs> we say things you are thinking, but you would never hear on t'other. Oh. The radio station. <laughs> I should use autocorrect. We are just having fun, so don't take it surrealistically. Just enjoy, and special thanks to Dano Music, and don't forget to visit us on Instagram at the Slade and Mason Show dot com. Uh, Slade and Mason Show, and that's spelled the Slade and Mason Show. The Slade. And remember, that's M A Y. Why? Because we love you. We love you. That's right. All right. Okay. Uh, so, uh, first off, happy summer. Yes. It is the first weekend of summer. And uh, it, it looks like for the next uh, five days, we're going to know what summer feels like. <laughs> we're going to have an official heat wave. It's awesome. All right. So, uh, it is It is June 23rd. It is, is 10 a.m. Really already? Holy moly. Yep. So uh, I'm sure you are ready for your morning rant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just I'll just go wander away and go get a cup of coffee and come back in about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, first off, good morning, Mr. Mason. Good morning. It's a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood right now. As I was just coming over to my studio, I thought, hmm. Uh, I am thankful for many, many things. Uh, One that I've had a career that's lasted, uh, you know, a couple of decades. Um, But as we have come into this modern age, and I'm I'm, I'm not trying to come across like that curmudgeon old uncle, you know, the one that's, well, you always eat me. Oh my, back in my day. I'm trying not to become that person. (laughs) It, uh, it, it's happening. Oh no! There is a phenomenon that is uh, it is it is of this generation because 
here's well, okay. I, I'm gonna get into it. Here I we go. Dislike. I dislike selfies with a passion. <laughs> I think that, listen, okay, everybody needs one picture of themselves. Mm. And and it's one thing if you're in Europe and you're taking a tour and you want to show you that you're at the Eiffel Tower, at the Tower of London, da, da, da. But every day I see hundreds of people who are sitting in their car. <laughs> Doing a selfie with their Starbucks coffee. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> and people have taken this to such an extreme. I mean, people are actually dying <laughs> taking selfies of themselves because they're falling off of buildings, <laughs> off the sides of mountains, <laughs> and everything is everything is not. Everybody doesn't need to see everything that you see in your life. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Now, okay, now, hold on a second. I got, here is proof. Here is proof of how far we have come. This was my double Dutch chocolate coffee for Pacino from Starbucks. Mm. <laughs> Selfie. I, I, all right, so it's like sometimes, I, now, cultural differences uh, are here. coming into play here because I am of a culture that, and I never got into it, and I don't know where it came from, but people like to take pictures of dead people. People <laughs> in the casket. I don't do I know you don't. No. I, I'm telling you, there is a picture of my grandfather in his casket. <sighs> and I'm thinking, why? <laughs> Who wants to remember that? He was my grandpa. <sighs> All right. Well, anyway, okay. Here's here's the proof is in the pudding here. Sometimes maybe we should just leave our phones at home. It just recently happened last week. My niece went into labor to have her baby, and her new husband was so excited to, set, to take a selfie. Unfortunately, he was not up by my niece's head. He was down closer to the doctor. So it's a very inappropriate <laughs> oh, selfie. God. Yeah, my niece said that is being burned. <laughs> God. I mean... Okay, so my rant. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I like I say, if this is making me somebody sitting listening, going, God, he's old. <laughs> okay, a uh, guilty, guilty is charged. <laughs> but but see, it just goes to show how things transcend because you know, Dan, and I'm just a little bit older than you, but not much. No. Uh, you remember when we had Polaroids that oh. could develop their own pictures? Yeah, yeah. There, we are. there is your first selfie. <laughs> <laughs> well. And and how many pictures of your girlfriend do you have that you took? I didn't do that actually. I didn't. You uh, couldn't. No. I. You're a liar. I'm not kidding. I never. I never. Uh, I could never afford Polaroid. They were expensive, man. There were 19 bucks. No. Now, mind you, back in 1980-whatever, 19 bucks was a lot of money. That's Let me like, see. That's oh, like, I'm sorry. I know now. I, oh, I remember. Okay. Are yeah, we back to cultural differences again? Where, where was I in 1980? Uh, City of Brotherly Love. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, you were making money hand over fist. Yeah, exactly. So that's why, I mean, okay, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. I had one of those, and, uh, yeah, it's like, and, 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 and it started my boudoir photography. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, but so they, you mentioned, late, wait, real quick, you mentioned this. Did you, you hear about the uh, the latest, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Duggar, the chick, uh, uh, she – Oh, uh, I just had a baby, and and they videotaped the whole ordeal. Uh, oh, God. see, see again. I tell this story occasionally about my my oldest daughter. Um, like I say, I was going to miss having to have to see this because I was going to be at home cleaning, and I got a call, and the call was, uh, Mister. Uh, we're waiting for you. <laughs> and you know how you, when you know you're going to get a whipping, 
So you're like dragging your feet and you're walking that slow walk of death. <laughs> I dragged my feet all the way to the hospital. When I get there, yep, it's like we still don't have a baby. There's a doctor and then there's a, I guess there's a catcher at the end of the table. Looking like Johnny Bench. <laughs> He's going to catch the remnants. Yeah. And uh, so, like I say, I, I, a dumb me wears a ring and I give her my hand. And, and I thought I was going to lose the hand. Yeah. This is, a, this is a 90 pound woman. I'm 200 and some odd pounds, closer to 300 pounds. And she has gotten me crying. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, the, the, the fact is that just like I say, that's not something every, no, I, 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 I correct myself. Every man ought to see that video once to know what he has done. Well, or <clears throat> be there. Uh, yeah, well, like I say, yes, yes. You know, I have again. I have been there for if all four. Be there if you're gonna be there at the beginning. Be there at the beginning. <laughs> That's right, baby. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I cut the cord on all four. So there you go. Oh no, 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 no. There was no cutting the cord because, like I say, I was I was like uh, on my knees and such because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was a stronger woman. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny! All right, so before we before we get started on the fun and games here, um, so this morning I got up, I got up at five o'clock. Oh, you got up before I did. <clears throat> Good so, man. I usually do, but I, I got up at five o'clock and and um, I was getting myself together and. I was thinking, huh, what am I going to talk about today on the show? Because I really never know until we actually sit down and do this. <laughs> Selfies was good. I like getting out on the system. Um, but so then it's like, I thought, well, what are you going to do now? So I, I put a load of laundry in. I said, huh, if I time this right, I'll be able to put them in the dryer <laughs> and then just head over to the studio so we can get ready to do this. And that's what I did. So right now... I've got a load of laundry drying. So when we get done with the show, I'm going to go home and fold and put my laundry away. I tell you, I'm going to make somebody a lovely wife one day. And if you're uh, interested, uh, please hop on over to the <laughs> Slade Mason show dot com and uh, tell us in 50 words or less why you think you'd be the perfect Mrs. Slade. Uh, uh, oh my God! Uh, okay. Please, all right. Hey, listen, uh, we, we appreciate pictures are great. Uh, pictures are great, but don't make, uh, me out you, don't make me out, you Mason. But uh, no, 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 no faces, no, no, uh, no, no, uh, no selfies. Just uh, you know, I gotta, of- I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you what I did a couple of nights ago, and this okay. was uh, I, I woke up, and that's always a good thing. <laughs> and sometimes when i don't eat enough uh I, I end up having a sugar drop yeah when i sleep you get the shakes and i wake up and oh. it's like yeah okay so i i also have oranges in my house so mm-hmm. i grabbed one of these beautiful beautiful oranges what oh, color are they orange mm-hmm. oh, anyway oranges? I, so and i and instead of getting a, a small knife I get one of these large bread knives. Yeah. So I'm like, and of course I'm shaking and, <laughs> and <laughs> you get your and finger, you get your finger over nine one one just in case <laughs> I get to, I mean, I saw in this orange and then I saw it in a quarter and then it's like, Oh yeah. It's like, mm, oh, this is, no, this is so good. Oh, oh this is good. Oh. Mm. And then you sit uh, down. Then I get another slice, and it's like, oh, mm, oh, oh. Well, now, I, I mean, you know, the mess that an orange can make anyway. Yeah, it drips <laughs> down your fingertips and everything. It's wonderful. Sugar, sugar, salt. Well, salt. I'm, I'm the, uh, I'm feeling a stinging on my pinky. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn on a light because I have not turned on a light. <laughs> And I look down, and my hand is a pool of blood. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. When was this? This was two nights ago. <laughs> that orange tastes a little funky? <laughs> no. It's like, I mean, it's like, and, and so I got I got the acidic in the, from the orange in the cut. 
And that's the only reason I knew, well, okay, here's the thing. So I, I get my paper towels and I got to wipe the table because it's like it's sticky from oranges. <laughs> and blood. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I wipe my hand and then I go into the bathroom and I run my hand under a sink and I can't, I'm looking at my hand and I cannot find a cut anywhere. I cannot find it. Well, now, now we know what the letter D stands for in JD. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> All right. Now, wait a minute. Here's the, here's, I'm here's, Jay Dracula here's, Slade. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Here's the cherry on top of the Sunday. <laughs> this has bothered me because it's like I can feel pain somewhere. I just can't find it. Uh, ten minutes ago, I found it. <laughs> 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 I, I found where I cut myself two days ago. Oh, my gosh. And did uh, you put a Band-Aid on it? No, it doesn't need a band aid, man. It's like, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty dried up. But oh uh, my gosh, that's so, great. That, that's I, uh, yeah. Well, that's I guess I find me. cultural differences. I think that's probably where <laughs> <laughs> I, I have the advantage over you. <laughs> red, red on white stands out really you know, fast. You know what knife to use in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's funny you mentioned the kitchen and knives and bread knives. Uh, yesterday, so day before yesterday, so last <laughs> Tuesday, let's see, last Tuesday, I was watching a, uh, it's, yeah, I don't know, there are these uh, British challenge programs for baking and cooking. And they're almost not fair because they basically say, here's the finished product. Good luck. And you have these like <laughs> nine people um, trying to compete to figure out if they can make this thing like this person <laughs> has that they've made since they were like a kid, right? Uh, and uh, uh, and on top of everything else, the person who made this thing initially is like a world class chef or a world class baker. And oh my God. so you're starting with like nothing except like you might as well just show them a photograph of the product, right? <laughs> so I'm watching and. I'm watching this guy make this this bread, and it was really kind of neat. He made some French bread, and the way he did it was he put it in a food mixer, but instead of just you know kneading it and then popping it out and let it rise, he let it knead for about ten minutes until the gluten all set and it became like this you know sheet of like goo. Well, then you see the people who are competing, and they're sitting at like sitting there with a like a rolling pin and trying to get the thing all laid out flat, and I'm like. Yeah, that ain't happen. So what I did was I got my food processor thinking, I know what I'll do. I'll just run this sucker for about five minutes, and that'll be the same as 10 minutes. Yeah. So I did. <laughs> I, I stuck it in there. I put some salt. I did the uh, uh, um, the quick acting, acting yeast, <clears throat> and then I ran that sucker, and I heard the engine motor going, <laughs> and I'm like, mm-mm. Uh, now I'm smelling ozone burning, and I'm like, uh-oh, this is not going to be going very good. <laughs> so finally finished that sucker up, and I let it rise, and I poured it out, and I followed the instructions the guy did. Well, except for the fact that I put too much salt in, this bread was flipping awesome. And I used a bread knife, and I still have all ten fingers. So, <laughs> sure what happened to you? Hey, it just goes to show cultural differences. Cultural differences, yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I don't know how I could have missed this because, uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice Nick. Yeah, okay. Oh, speaking of Nicks. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, I, years ago. Nick Stephanopoulos. Yeah, I know that guy. He was uh, he owned that uh, bakery in the in the, uh, Saskatchewan. And it, stop, it. It. stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm about to get into a serious tome here. Okay. Now. So anyway, go ahead, Nick. Here we go. When they when this culture of reality TV shows first hit, mm -hmm. it became who was going to be the most extreme on a reality show. Uh, <laughs> naked and like, scared you know, <laughs> naked and afraid da, 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 da. I mean it's like alright but tonight and this is Sunday so yeah tonight Americans have the opportunity 
to watch someone die alive on TV. Yeah, I ain't going to do that. What What are you talking about? What? What? I, I, I'm telling you, Nick Walenda and his sister are going to be performing this high wire stunt in New York's Times Square. He and his sister are going to be 25 stories in the air without a net. And they're going to take a 1,300 foot walk between buildings. Yeah, I ain't going to watch it. I mean, I've already seen the clip of the last accident that happened with the Lindas, and nobody died, but uh, the chick, as a matter of fact, I believe it is uh, his sister that is going to uh, do this that, that fell and busted all her face up and such. Mm. What is wrong with us? Okay. Why have we gotten to the point where we are now in the Coliseum? Um, yeah, well, so, um, I guess naked and scared is not, uh, uh, dramatic enough. So let's, uh, let's see up the bar. Uh, hey, welcome to another episode of Russian Roulette. Yay! Yeah, I mean, you know, again, okay. <laughs> but it is, he's already missed it two times. It's like, and now he spins the chamber. <laughs> he's going to tick, 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 tick. Yay, he missed. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> He'll be back I, next I mean, week for the further adventures of. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm just missing the boat. See, and here's the thing: mm. I'm going to be doing a morning show tomorrow morning, and God forbid something happens to one or both of these people. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think his grandfather fell to his death uh, performing a stunt in Chicago. Yeah. So and and the video of that of, and, and it's like the video is watching this guy as you know he is going to die within the end of this spiel. I I just I I I I don't have bloodlust for that. I don't have I I have no no compulsion to even want to see anything that looks like that. Yep, you're right. We're back to the Coliseum again and that's the dealio. We've we've upped the bar so much to the point where we're we're numb to it. We need to see something more grotesque, something more um, satiable, I guess. It's, it's but here's the thing, and here's the thing. It's it is the it's the first weekend of summer, and that means the kids are going to be staying up later. So they're saying that they're putting it on at uh, I don't know, it's nine o'clock or eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. So again, you have the chance to traumatize your kids before they go to bed. Yeah, I, I I'm just. Like I say, I, I just, I, I, I'm not, I, I'm in the media, so it's like I, I'm, I'm conflicted here, but it's like I just think we've gone too far. Well, I mean, <clears throat> remember during the 70s and 80s, you had Evil Knievel doing the same stupid stunts mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Um, you know, jumping, was it, jumped the Grand Canyon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, but I just, you know, I'm just, I think that in this day and age where, well, see, and this is the thing. Mm -hmm. This is another thing that's different than then. Because, yeah, you could hear about it and you might see a film clip of it. Yeah. But it wasn't like you could just go up and keep watching it over and over and over. And and impressionable minds? I, I, I mean, like I say, uh, you know, we need to change the subject because it's like, yeah, I, uh, yeah. But that, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I stand on this. I, I can't. I can't do it. I won't do it. And I'm, I just hope. I just hope that Nick and his sister are fine tonight. All right. Well, with that, let's take a short break, and we'll be right back after this. Wow. Don't touch that dial. Not that there's any dial, but we'll be right back with the Slade and Mason show.
Revolutionary in History, June 23rd, 1305. A peace treaty is signed between the Flemish and France. Well, that couldn't have lasted much longer. Everybody heard of the country of Flemish? 1532. Henry VIII and Francois I sign a secret treaty against Emperor Charles V. I mean, I don't think that's very nice. I think anybody with a middle name of V ought to have a consideration there. Oh, what? That's what? That's a Roman numeral five. Oh, so that's for Charles V. Never, never mind, never mind. 1683, William Penn signs a friendship treaty with the Lenny Lepi Indians in Pennsylvania. <laughs> That'll last. 1860, the United States Congress establishes the government printing office. Why? You ever read some of the gibberish these guys produce? Hey, this doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to print this. And finally, 1972, Richard M. Nixon is in the White House with... Chief of Staff H.R. Haldeman, and they're taping themselves talking about the CIA intelligence agency obstructing the FBI agency's investigation into the Watergate break ins. Gosh, guys, you didn't have to have them instruct that. They can mess it up all by themselves. I'm Dan Mason, <laughs> and that's June 23rd. Just when you thought it was safe to come back, a movie so frightening, you'll need to wear the pens. Featuring Screams by Jamie Lee Curtis. This will scare you to death. This was no shark attack. This was a boat. You've got to clear the beach. Are you insane? It's, it's, it's Christmas season. No, 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 no. The beach stays open. You just figure out that little boat problem that you have there. Timmy, come out of the water. I don't want you in there right now. There might be a boat. But Mom! No, but Mom. You come out of that water. Dang nabbit, will you all please listen to me? I remember back in 1968, there was once a boat with an oar as long as my arm. I, I'm sorry, I meant, I meant the, the oar was as wide, as wide as my arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, as wide as your arm. Sure, sure, sure. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah. Explosion scenes directed by Michael Bay. I think we're gonna need a bigger beach. Coming soon to a theater near you. Presented by Pentagon Pictures and Slate Co. Productions. In part by Dewey, Jim, and Hal. The next big fur. The boat. This film is not yet rated. <laughs>
Que feito mais é rapaz! By the way, did you hear him swear when he said, Dog gone? Okay, hey, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I have to press the official uh, button here. Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason, and this is the Slade Mason Show. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. All right. Hi. Hey, wow. that was, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Dan Mason. I'm J.D. Slade. And this is the Slade Mason Show. Hey, that was the Summertime Sweethearts. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, I tell you, Dan, listen, you and I are going to have to have in production meetings because if you're going to spend that money for that big budget <laughs> tunes, you got to have my at least <laughs> at least cross it by my path here. Yes, yes. That's the where where do they go? The summertime sweethearts by the Broadway bellhops. <laughs> 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 I think they broke up right after the Beatles did. And <laughs> They had like what two albums? <laughs> Meet the bellhops and let the bellhops be. And then, of course, Ooh. the the extended disco version. Hey, bellhops! <laughs> Number nine, bellhops. <laughs> Strawberry bellhops forever. <laughs> Magic, no. ma- magical yeah. mystery bellhops. <laughs> oh, I have a friend. I have a friend in Philly. He does the syndicated show <sighs> Breakfast with the Beatles. I apologize, Andre. I really do. Is he listening? Oh, no. I, I've tried to get him to listen. So, you know, again, <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. I know oh, so many God. people all over the country. It's like, I, oh, and I even have somebody in France I can get to listen. To. Uh, well, we have that one guy in Turkey. He's listening. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and, and for you. <laughs> that means something to them. Oh, my gosh. And, of course, we heard we heard the uh, the promo for that movie, The Boat, that's coming up still. Uh, oh, speaking yeah. of movies. Yeah. So All right. So um I'm gonna just throw this out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a new movie that opened up this weekend. Yes, there is. The new child's play. So it's funny you mentioned that, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, I want I want to talk about know, a little bit a little bit. I uh I I <laughs> I saw I have this tendency when I when there's a, a franchise of movies to only see the first movie of the franchise. Mm-hmm. Now, the only exceptions that I made to that was The Godfather. Okay. And Rocky. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, because, like I say, sequels tend to disappoint. However, uh, this is the year of sequels, and we got a bunch of them coming up this summer. Oh. You know, it all started with Avengers Endgame. Mm-hmm. And the, like I say, the fact that there is another Child's Play movie. Yep. It's just, uh, I saw the first one, killer doll, ugly doll, done, burnt up in a fire, gone. Nope. 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 <laughs> to prove my theory just that Hollywood, resting. <laughs> they, told, they told Hollywood producers, please stop doing the cocaine because it's like it will impair your ability to create. They said, sure. <laughs> So as a result, it's like we're starting to crank out just the same old, same old, yes, same. yes. As a matter of fact, um, you mentioned movies, and the one, the big one that uh, Disney has been holding its hat out on, 
and people have been some people have been waiting for is of course Toy Story, Story 4. OMG. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> to infinity and beyond. <sighs> well, I've been uh, waiting for that. I've been <clears throat> practicing it all week. Keep practicing. They <laughs> uh, <laughs> You may get it right one day. The <laughs> Five words, man. Boom. <laughs> the uh, I, I'll tell you this. Uh, uh, I saw the previews to it, and I'm just sitting there shaking my head going, oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Oh, look, Don Rickles, Don Rickles is gone. Okay. So you, you, you can't have Mr. Potato Head, even though they've used some – some hack who doesn't even sound like Don Rickles, which really annoys me. And I'm I'm just listening to the previews. And it's about saving a spork. Um so again, I've talked about this before. The Pixar movies, the good ones, the ones that have been the groundbreaking ones, are all about discovery. Everything's discovery. It's discovering something about yourself, discovering something about your family, about the past, about you know, what friends are. This is nothing more than, hey, you know what? Yeah, well, we can do this again. Uh, this time they go on an adventure <laughs> and they go, they, they try to save a spork. Did you save a spork? So, yeah, a spork. Oh, what spork? Um, a are little girl made the spork. She made it. And- Tom Hanks are capitalist. <clears throat> uh, because you know that they got the world on a plate. I, here's the sad part about this. This is Toy Story 4. 4. But do you realize that this franchise has been sprung over the last 20 years? Yippers. Yep. I mean, just like Incredible Two. When the first Toy Story came out, Tom Hanks was still wearing a curly half row. Yeah. And yeah. t-shirt. Yeah. He, he'd be lucky to have a curly half row, half row right now. <clears throat> I mean, you know, I, I like I said, I, I, boy, is this show going into the toilet? <laughs> Come on, man. Is there anything funny out there? No. Uh, and Pixar says, <laughs> we promise. I, li- I like words like that. Pixar. Oh. We promise we're not going to do any more sequels. Dot, dot, dot. Unless. And I went, oh, man. Yeah. So they've already said that they're going to be doing more sequels. Even wow. though they said they're not going to do any more sequels. They said, look, 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 no, no, sequels, that was a bad idea. We're not getting into sequel mode. We're going to do like real new stories. We promise. Yeah, we promise. Yeah. It can be, yeah. 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 Well, here's the yeah. thing. No. You know, not only do, excuse me, not only have they done this with now Pixar, mm-hmm. but the fact is, do you realize that Ralph Macchio is still playing the Karate Kid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, He's I, what? I just, 56 years old. Yeah. I and... mean, you know, Mr. Miyagi is earthworm food. Yep. Um, I mean, it just, it, how can you? He, he bullies the guy who bullied him. And I'm like, yeah. that, that I, doesn't seem right. I mean, that's, that wasn't what the whole storyline was about. So yeah. Uh, is it a money grab? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Just, so, uh, are we becoming crotchety uh, old men? What are we hearing? Yeah, I told you, man. I, I'm not going to become that guy. Hold on a second. Hold on. Dan, yeah, yeah, Dan, yeah. yeah. Summertime here again. Summertime is here again. Bad guys without shirts and hairy backs. Women who could use some bikini wax. People picking sand out of their cracks. Summertime's here again. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And speaking of which, <laughs> listen. Uh, so I have a friend of mine, and no, you don't. yeah, I do. look, I I I paid her last Wednesday. <laughs> um, she's got it's her one and only sponsor. Be nice. Um, uh, so <laughs> listen, it's summertime. It's officially summertime. And if you got a local party you want to uh, put off, let's say you're doing like a block party, right? A lot of block parties are coming up, right? You got these church socials coming up, right? So uh, what you want to do is get a hold of my friend Sheila Keenan, and she's got a little uh, website called I see something nicey. So it's I see I see E Y, 
and then something without the G because it's something. I didn't say something. Something. Icy. I-C-E-Y dot com. And uh, 804-617-8827. Uh, essentially, what she's got is this neat little truck. And it's got these uh, devices for doing shaved ice. And by the time it's been shaved down, it's almost like ice cream. It's so smooth. And then she puts all the different flavorings on top. Now, she stopped by where I have my other place where I work. And they did look uh, an open thing. And I got this. It was it was peach and orange. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. I cried when it was done. But, uh <laughs> Yeah, it, it's all that in the box, Cheetos. So uh, if you have any corporate events like we did, uh, birthday parties, uh, any fundraisers you want to do, give her a call. The summer is closing out pretty quickly. So I nobody wants to do the weekend. So there's only X number of weekends. And, of course, um, where I'm at, kids are going back to school early. They're not doing the whole Labor Day thing afterwards. So give her a call. Again, 804-617-8827. Uh, tell Sheila that uh, the Slade Mason show sent you. <laughs> and they should have plug there. <laughs> hey, You'll, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey. wait, 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 wait. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> Fat guys without shirts and hairy backs. Women who could use some bikini wax. People picking sand out of the cracks. Summertime's here again. I just love these infantile little JD Slade things here. <laughs> oh, so good. You know, it's, yeah, it's like a, uh, I have so many wonderful toys. Yeah, but, it's great. You know, but, but are, are there any movies that you are looking forward to seeing nope. maybe this summer? Nope. Obviously, Pixar has like gotten ready and fallen in the toilet with you. Yeah, all done. There's nothing else out there. Are there any so, movies? I don't know. I I mean, I only I only get surprised once a week when I get my information that tells me what what's going on. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute, your kids are your kids are going back to school when? Yeah, it's like uh, the end of August. That's it. It's like oh. really really short. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. But that. Yeah. But you see. Uh, you have oh, to middle think. Ball, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. got to yeah. think. The reason that that there was a three month summer vacation to begin with for school kids was because they used to work on farms. Nope. Yes. Right again. Nope. Yes. Nope. Uh, actually, um, uh, that's a that's a fallacy. Um, that's a fallacy. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop it. I'm not gonna plug a program, but I will mention uh, the. I don't know if you heard the program called Adam Ruins Everything. Have you ever heard of this guy? Adam ruins everything. Adam, I guess not. So they talked about that, and they actually did some research and found out that it had absolutely nothing to do with working on farms. As a matter of fact, if you speak with most farmers, and I have a buddy of mine as a farmer, do you guys do work in the summertime? He goes, "No, it's too flipping hot." No, you know what this is? This is the the aristocratic moms and dads have their summertime break from work. They make buku bucks and they pull their children out of school. I'm sorry, we're taking Billy out for a few weeks. And that became the norm. Every summer they would just take the kids out of the, out of the schools. So the schools finally acquiesced and they said, yeah, let's just, let's just shut down for a while. So it became like a month or so. And then they couldn't figure out when the vacations were. So they just said, all right, fine. You know what? We're going to reschedule everything. We're going to block off this time. This is when we're open, and we're going to shut down during the summertime. It'll save us money, electricity and air conditioning, and the kids will go on vacation with their parents. And that's where that oh, came from. It had no, nothing on, to do on, with farms. Dude, hold on. Hold on, dude. Now, nothing again, to do with farms. Because, see, here in the South, here in the South, I'm telling you, the reason that schools acquiesced to close is because these kids were working on farms from sunup to sundown. Mm -hmm. When they used to be able to work a kid to death, mm. there were no child labor laws and things like that. Mm. And so now what, what happened in the rest of the country is another story, but I'm telling you, there are farms that have been here where we live hundred years who will tell you that's exactly what went down. Ask a Higginbotham. They will tell you. Uh, okay. There's common. Oh, oh. <clears throat> and remember, remember, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Children will listen. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, but, uh, uh, Carmine DeGuzio's uh, Happy Smiley Day Peace Care <laughs> Center. Um, it's, let's see. It is commonly believed that school kids started taking summers off in the 19th century so they'd have time to work on the farm. Nice as that story is, it isn't true. Summer vacation has little to do with tilling fields and more to do with sweaty, rich city kids playing hooky and their sweaty, rich parents. Aha! Before the Civil War, kids never took the summers off. They went to school during the hottest and coldest months and stayed home during the uh, spring and fall when crops needed to be planted and harvested. Okay. Meanwhile, city kids hit the books all year long. Summers included... Real difference. 260 is so he's got denser and hotter. The endless bricks. Can't beat them, join them. And they closed up the schools. So it initiated in the cities from rich, nasty, aristocratic. Meanwhile, in the South, the hardworking people were trying to make sure that they had crops. So those rich, self privileged city folk could have something to eat oh i want my white bread now mm. there we go it's like did we get any fresh vegetables uh, why not uh, there's got to be some people out there picking them timmy timmy go out to the field and go pick some things for me bye-bye hey, hey dano you know yeah. it's like let me ask you something oh hold on a second uh, uh fill the fill the gap here all right here we go ready here we go uh uh no and you are shy, my only sunshine. You may. Oh, so anyway, um, uh, let's see. I was reading a couple of stories. Let's see here. <clears throat> so, um, would you believe that more than 12,000 people's journeys were affected when nearly 30 trains in Kyosha shuttered to a halt? Because of a very unusual circumstances, yeah. So, uh, Japanese railroads uh, uh, indicated there was an incident that uh, about a month, month and a half ago, shut down all the trains' activities. And what do you think it might have been? What it could be um, terrorists? Mm, it's a possibility because you know terrorists really want to cause a lot of disruption. Nope, nope, nope. Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Uh, could it be um, faulty wiring or maybe uh, another tsunami coming in and doing some damage? Nope, 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 it wasn't like that. Nope, actually, the uh, the 12,000 people's 30 train Kayusha in this Kayusha that's in Japan, by the way, uh, was actually shut down because of a slug. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, so uh, the equipment was shut down. They had to go line by line, inch by inch. And they finally found, lodged inside of the equipment, next to the tracks, the elect <laughs> electrocuted remains of a slug. Now, this kind of parallels what happened back in 2016. Do you guys remember Europe's Large Hadron Collider? Yep. Uh, that sucker was shut down because apparently a weasel was actually gnawing through the high-voltage transformer and short-circuited the system and shut down the particle accelerator. Um, yeah, so apparently what had happened with the slug had actually made its way through a tiny little gap in the load disconnector. Uh, you know, that's a little piece of... Anyway, um, so anyway, um, let's see. There was also uh, in a British uh, cousin of the slug was the ill-fated mollusk that actually received a little bit of notoriety. Uh, when it crawled inside a traffic control light, in the north town of Darrington and caused a short circuit and created traffic chaos. It's so much fun. So nature has a way of just getting back at us because that's you the way that right, man. Yeah. Hey, you know, and my my partner um uh, in the morning, it's uh <clears throat> talk about Mother Nature. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like uh there's a reason that Bambi and automobiles come into clash and more often than not, Bambi wins. Oh yeah. Even if Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Um, and this state is a bad one for for deer crashes. Mm -hmm. And it's and, almost like they're sitting in pods, going, "Hey, wait a minute. Look, look. Oh, there's a light. Okay, ready, ready. Go, go." Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that car looks like he's going pretty fast. Let's see if he can catch up with him. Come on, Dave. Let's go. <laughs> 
that you can't cross before he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh man. Dave didn't yeah. make it. And, so. and here's the thing. It's a memorable sound. It's just like when you crash a car into something. It is a sound it's you like, do not forget once you have struck a deer. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you, usually it's like you even get a look. It's eye is looking at you as it's going oh, over your car. <laughs> man. It's the last thing you see. Those little blue pupils. You go, oh, how you doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you there's sick a Joe. I'm yeah, telling you, there's a great rebound. Humidity. Way to go, Nano. <laughs> so uh so I have to tell you what I did this week, this past week. Actually last Saturday. Um so I didn't mention it and that's okay. It's all good. Um I picked up <laughs> Stop it. Um, is that dog in the window? <laughs> That's right. Uh, so I picked up a diggity dog from the uh, shelter. Actually, it was a uh, 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 it was the Old Dominion uh, Old Dominion uh, uh, Rescue Facility here in uh, Fredericksburg. So there's a plug for them. Um, this dog actually came from Puerto Rico, so she knows Spanish, um, which I don't. And uh, her name Rosetta is Rosetta Stone. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rosetta Stone. It's called a dog biscuit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so her name uh, is off. her name is Nymeria. Rhymes with what Siberia. <laughs> Oh God, you are such a mess. So her name is Nymeria and she weighs all about 30 pounds. And what basically take a, a Siberian Husky and put her on the copier and shrink it down by 68%. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> now, if you're a friend with me on, on, on Facebook, Dan Mason, uh, you can see pictures of her and also, also on our Instagram, which is the Slate and Mason Show, you can see pictures. Stop it, Mister Slade. Okay, listen, stop, stop, stop. Diggity Doug. First off, I I have to commend you because you've done the one thing that that always makes my heart feel glad is that you adopted from a, a shelter because yeah. even even shelter animals need love, and it's like, and sometimes you can find the best forever friends. Oh yeah, in a shelter. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, yeah, there you go. There's our endorsement for adopting shelter animals. Yep. Now, the other side of the coin, for those of you who are friends, or maybe you're not, maybe you should become friends with Dan Mason. That's M-A-Y-S-O-N. Why? Because the because we love you. That's right. <laughs> because the first picture that I saw of Nigeria, I mean, Ni Nigeria. Nymeria. No, not, not, not who? Nymeria. Nymeria was a picture of this poor scared puppy <laughs> turned around as somebody's hand was approaching its behind. <laughs> she's not. Now, very... Am I lying, Dan? <clears throat> no. Come on. She lo it looks like she's being <laughs> swatted, but she's not. She's actually being petted, and that was at the end of the petting. But she was. She... <laughs> She's still a little, you know, it's going to take a few weeks for her to get acclimated to me and the weirdness that goes on at the this Sladen dog. house. This dog look like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just, Poor yeah, dude dog. No. I just see funny things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, let me ask you this, bro. Yeah. This is, uh, I mean, this is probably, I'm, I'm thinking this is kind of your time of year with the weather, of course, being warm and such. Mm -hmm. Do you do much grilling? So, I guess that means no. <laughs> Is that uh, a thing? So, we have a grill. I just haven't done anything with it yet. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this the grill that your brother salvaged? Yes. And you haven't used it yet? Nope. Haven't used it yet. I got, actually, but I, ha I have three steaks sitting in the fridge ready to be cremated. 
Oh, oh man, when are you going to do it? I'm um, actually scheduled to do that today. So there you go. Oh, look at that. It's like, uh, all right, so everybody, you're going to Dan Mason's house. He's uh, going to be grilling no. the steak, and he's probably no. got some really cool marinade no. that he's going to put on it. And, no. You know, a little bit of salad, no. uh, maybe macaroni salad no. on the side. Uh, a little no. glass of red wine. JD, to, uh, no, huh? no, 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 we're not doing that. No, 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 no. When, when we do the live Slade Mason show at the fairgrounds, Two years from now, if we're uh, still alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is all predicated on yeah. if yeah. we're still alive. If we're still alive, uh, we should we should do that. We should do a live Slade Mason show. People just kind of walk by and go, you guys are not very funny. I'm taking <laughs> my children away from you. <laughs> I, I, I've never heard of you. Where are you? What, why, why are you here? I don't understand. <laughs> you say slave and what? <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of mason jars at home. Why would I need one from you? Uh, so, well, I just yeah. thought that. Oh, oh, okay, so you were telling me about your week. I have to tell you about my week. And how much time do we have here? Like uh, we get about a little less than three minutes. Okay. Actually, a minute and a half. I did the 30 one seconds. thing I do every year that that makes my doctor go crazy. You had uh, you you did a you did a stress test. Oh no 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 no! I you, could, I could you 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 no, got no, your no, blood no, pressure you'll checked. Guess. You'll never guess. You I, you donated do a pint of blood. I do the tasting for the Orange County Fair. Oh my gosh! Uh, you know again and breads. Cakes, cookies, pies. I mean, just the, the, the gamut. And, uh, yeah, it's like this is my one sugar spike of the year that I allow myself. Uh, I keep my pen handy. Mm -hmm. And this year was no exception. And I, I tell you what, it was, mm. yeah, there's a reason that the South has the fattest people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even have something as simple as grits without putting a pile of butter and cheese on it. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, we're cooking with lard. <laughs> Just grab a whole handful of it and splat it in that pan. You want some more Scrabble and you want some of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, man, let me make sure the pork chops have that big ring of fat around the side of it. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, God, but, it, but you know, if you're going to go... That's the way to go. It really is. It's yeah. like just, mm. yeah. So it was a gastronomical delight. Mm -hmm. uh, again, and I, I did. I, I enjoyed it. But, uh, you know, again, don't do this at home. No. These are trained professionals. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, here goes the music. Oh, my oh. God. All right, gang. We'll Ooh. see you June 30th. That's next Sunday. That's the last Sunday on the month of June. Oh, that means that it's the lead into the 4th of July. Bang, bang, bang. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, where are you, Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Shrek? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Say goodbye, Mr. Slade. Hey, goodbye, Mr. Slade. <laughs> Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. Uh, and, and this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. started out all melodramatic and all serious tone. And you see, we still ended up on the funny. We're good. <laughs> it's because we're really professional. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, this is just the start of summer. Oh, boy. Bye-bye. <laughs> just ate my back. Quack, quack. And this is the reason that your parents sold you don't do drugs. Because you're only doing the free stuff and you never get a day for it. But you'll have a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> quack, 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 Oh, my God.
I just really like to see and not that. And here in Nazi Germany, we find that our friends are... Oh, sorry. Wrong recording. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Chicago, Elliot Ness is going up against Al Capone. <laughs> no more funny. See you all next week, everybody. Bye. Bye.